Well, welcome everyone to our online program on addiction and recovery from the Sunshine Coast Health Center up here in Powell River, BC. And for the topic, uh, I'm going to take a look at John Berryman and his uh, novel called Recovery. And just to give you some background on Berryman, he was a very famous poet. And uh, he was equally famous for being an alcoholic. And after the uh, age of 45, he attended uh, six residential treatment centers, all in Minnesota, where he lived. He actually worked at the University of Minnesota. And at the time he was, he was uh, going to these places, they were developing this thing that became known as the Minnesota model, or we know it today as 12-step based treatment. But it, it's a very famous model with Hazelton Treatment Center and a few other, and all the doctors knew were working all together in Minnesota to try to develop this model. Anyway, that was, that was uh, the treatment that John Berryman went through at least six times. And he wrote this novel about his experience going through this treatment, and it's a very uh, personal account of what it was like for him moving through uh, what is essentially the first four steps of the 12-step program, and how he dealt with step one and step two, step three, step four. So it, it's really quite fascinating because it gives it a very deep, uh, detailed uh, examination of uh, this personal experience of going through recovery. Anyway, by the end of the uh, program in the novel, the, the guy seems to have come to some uh, uh, understanding of why he's an alcoholic. Uh, an idea, for example, that he was always concerned about his father's suicide, which happened to John Berryman himself, and that he was using this as an excuse to keep drinking. So. He would not focus on the suicide much longer. And then after that, he's upbeat. He's much more confident. He's, he's looked at the unmanageability of his life, and things just seem to be working out really great. Except for one thing, and this is really the kicker, is the novel is really about Berryman's own experience going through treatment. And John Berryman, the man... After he'd gone through these six treatment centers, one day went to the liquor store and uh, bought some booze and drunk. He actually jumped off the uh, dumped off the bridge and killed himself. So it's kind of interesting that he would write this novel about how successful this character was going through treatment, and yet the Berryman, the actual human being, ends up being very drunk, committing suicide, and it was. Maybe we can find some clues in the novel about why, why Berryman didn't seem to you know, find something fulfilling in life. So at any rate, uh, to start off with, uh, one of the things that the novel makes very clear is that John Berryman is trying to get recovery by examining his past. And so he's un examining, for example, the unmanageability in his life. And in this unmanageability, of course, he's saying, oh, geez, you know, I really was unfair to my three wives. I really haven't seen my kid very much. Uh, I was so drunk when I was given a lecture, I can't remember whether I embarrassed myself or not. And, oh, yeah, I got into an argument because I was drunk with this other guy. In other words, it was a catalog of all of these terrible thing things that he felt terrible about. And, and there's very little in the novel about what his current life is like. like. He's going back to the university to teach. He's presumably you know, got people to go back home to, but he never really talks about that. It, everything is dwelling in the past. And this is a lesson that the research seems to be coming up, is that if you keep dwelling in the past, but you really have yeah, not very much going on in the present, this may not be the best uh, way of approaching recovery. And perhaps uh, this idea that Berryman had that he could look at the unmanageability in his life and all that, maybe, maybe that's not enough for uh, someone to really get good recovery. Anyway, just a clue to what might have happened from the novel uh, to John Berryman, why he eventually got drunk and killed himself. Anyway, that's it uh, for this uh, episode, and we'll be back next time uh, with another uh, topic on John Berryman's death from alcoholism.